Oh, hello. Welcome back to another part of Pretty Little Liars, the abridged series. Today we're playing episode three. On the last episode, we found out our old flame Blair from where we used to live had moved to Rosewood. Um, she told us about some bitch in hospital called Lisa who hasn't woken up. And apparently Lisa used to be our friend, but we've never mentioned her at all, so forgive me for not knowing that. And we got a bunch of texts from someone who calls themselves A. So naturally, they kind of assume that it's Alison, even though Alison's been missing for a year. So, in episode three... A dangerous game of cat and mouse unfolds at Nob's party. You and the girls try to hunt down your stalker, but A has a sinister surprise in store for you. Let's start episode three. Pretty Little Lies is best experienced with the sound on. Nerdy dancing, nerdy dancing, we're all nerdy dancing at the party, at the party, at, at, at the party, don't be tardy for the party, don't be tardy, f uh oh, they're gonna be mad that I'm not wearing the dress, but we are our own person, we do not get told what to wear, Lydia's a feminist. Lydia, are you okay? What happened? A was in my bedroom. Yeah, he was in all our bedrooms. He all gave us this ugly dress. No, but like, A was then literally outside my window, putting a ladder so I could get out and come to the party and not get out and find out who put the ladder up at my window. Uh, really? You're all shocked? A left a note on my mirror. Okay, A's taken it too far. Breaking into our bedrooms. You didn't even have time to do your hair. Uh, Han, I don't think that's the point. How come you didn't wear A's dress? I'm sorry, guys, but I thought it was creepy. Yes, I'm not sorry. It was definitely creepy. But also, like, I'm not wearing a dress when I'm climbing down a ladder. She's dressing us up like dolls. Let's play a game of truth or dare, liars. Obey, and you find me. Refuse, and you pay. First dare, change back into your regular outfits. That's, that's not a dare, that's a welcome choice. Since Lydia disobeyed me, you're not worthy of my dresses anymore. That says nuts. We need to find A before this gets too crazy. Let's split up. Spencer, I thought better of you. Lydia, let's go. Nerdy dancing at the party. Oh, it's Mona. Hannah, I really need to talk to you. I can't right now. Seriously, Hannah, it's important. Okay, give me ten minutes. Ten minutes? Like, it's not that important. Ooh. No freaking way. What did she say? Hefty Hannah. You looked sexy in that red dress. Side note, so they've all changed their outfits. So they brought an extra pair of clothes to Noel's cabin? Like, what? That's what we're supposed to believe? But you aren't wearing it now, so I have a treat in store for you. See those cupcakes on the table? I dare you to eat them all. 
or or else what? I won't do it. Good for you, Hannah. My binging days are over. Oh my god. She says she'll tell the police about the stuff I stole. She hasn't got any proof. First, Allie's te- oh. First, Allie teaches me how to throw up my food. And now she's making me eat. Those are the exact same two things. Hannah, I could come with you. Thanks, but you should find Blair. Because apparently I care more about your love life than my eating disorder. Lydia. Lydia is not the type of girl to go running off when Hannah clearly needs her. I'll be okay. No, go after her. Oh, oh my god! This is like... Very upsetting. Allie's taking it too far. Lydia! Blair, we don't have time for you. There you are. I'm so happy you made it. You too. Everything everything okay? Um, no. Everything is not okay. Okay, I shouldn't be here talking to you. I should be over there helping my friend who is being triggered into having another binging session. It's just terrible. Terrible! Oh. Now you see what happens when you disobey me, liar. If you want to find me, you have to break her heart. No! Okay. Tell her you wish she'd never come to Rosewood. To be honest, I care neither. I don't have strong feelings in either direction about Blair, okay? If push came to shove, I would even go so far as to say that, yes, I am not happy that she came to Rosewood because all she's done is remind me how... bad of a friend I've been to this girl, Lisa. Like, she was in a hospital and... We didn't even visit her, and we didn't even know that her situation was critical. I'm really angry at this Blair girl for not telling us sooner about Lisa, because Lisa does not deserve this. Lisa deserves better from her so-called friends. Every inch of me just wants to kiss her, but I can't break her heart. Yes, yes, you can. Seriously, Lear? Are you like, okay? Wait, I could protect her from A. I just need to sneak her somewhere private. About the roof? Are we going on the roof now? See, this is what I was talking about in this game. You say no, and then it just does it anyway. I have a crazy idea. Defy air and protect Blair. Break Blair's heart. Nope. We're not. We're, we're gonna break Blair's heart. Bren, bl, Blair. Blair needs some tough love. Blair, we shouldn't be talking. What? Why? Do it, liar. Tell her now. Why do you keep staring at your phone? Are you trying to have a conversation with me? Or are you paying Candy Crush? You sure you're okay? Blair, I... I... I wish you'd never come to Rosewood. Lydia, what are you saying? Please, just go. This isn't you talking. What's going on? Make her believe you. Oh, she didn't even check her phone that time. 
you and me, it's never gonna happen. Stop! This isn't... No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You stop, Blair. You, you should stay away from me. Wait, Lydia! You think that was the worst I can do? You haven't seen anything yet. I found the letter tucked away in your locket. That's quite a confession. <gasps> How would you feel if I sent the juicy details to Blair? You cracked her heart, but I can shatter it to pieces. Oh my god. I'd be more invested in this if I knew what you were talking about, but oh my god. I was so angry when I wrote that letter. It's not the whole story. Lydia? Mona, what's wrong? I need to talk to you, it's urgent. What's going on? Your locket. I know where it is. My locket? How do you know about my locket? Have you been texting me? Yes, yes, she has. Oh, I've been getting texts too. Wink, wink. I can help you. Follow me and I'll get your locket back. I need that locket. Take back your locket before A sends it to Blair. Or let A keep your locket. Um, I'm guessing that the letter is a confession about something we did to or with Lisa, but I'm sort of feeling like Blair has had an entire year with Lisa, and okay, the bitch has been in a, in a coma, but like, that's still a year that she's had that we haven't had, so... Regardless of all of that, what it really comes down to is I have to spend more money if I want to protect this secret from getting out to Blair. Which, if I know A, it will get out anywhere. So you know what? Let's have A keep the locket. As I said, it will find our way back to us eventually, these things always do. Sorry, I can't right now. Okay. Good luck. That's not suspicious at all. Emily and Maya kissing? Why am I so shocked when Emily just said this morning in the girls' bathroom that they were together? Emily's mom should know what her daughter is up to. Dare put the photos under the flower pot outside. Or I send Blair your confession. See? So now is like. So now A is saying. That if we do this, Dare. A won't send the confession. So, we could have saved all that time, all those gems, to get our locket back. And A was never going to send the confession anyway. Because, yes, we are going to put the photos of Emily kissing Maya into the flower pot. Because, why wouldn't we? Like, what are the chances that her mum are even going to find it? Give the photos to A, or don't do it. Wait, sorry, what? Give the photos to A. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. So, when I... <laughs> okay, if I was really smart, we would put the photos in the flower pot, and then stake out the flower pot, and see who collects them. If Blair reads that letter, she'll never speak to me again. Yes, that's what we want.
that's strange. What's up? Where are they? Where are what? The, the photos. They should be right there. <gasps> oh my god. Well, you relax. It's not a big deal. Are you serious? If that photo gets out... Well... Well done with the photos, little liar. Want to find me? Just stake out the flower pot. And simple as that. No. Your final clue is waiting in the woods nearby. Ellie! Stop playing this stupid game. Uh, A sent you here too? She's really close. I can feel it. Guys, we found something. Look at that. It must be from A or Ally. What? That's Mona's scarf. Mona? What does that mean? Is Mona A? Yes! Guys! The De Laurentiis house. Something's happening. <gasps> Is it on fire? We have to get to Allie's. It's not Allie's, it's Maya's house. Like, it's really insulting. This this girl lives here, and like you are whitewashing her existence by calling it the De Laurentiis house. Okay, it's Maya's house. Maya. Sorry, miss. This is a crime scene. She's my friend. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Get back here. I'm gonna shoot you, black woman. <laughs> I thought something might have happened to you. I tried to call you. What's going on? Emily, I'm so sorry. They found a body. Oh my god. Who is it? Emily. I don't know how to say this. Oh, so apparently we we just we just won't. We don't know how to say this, and we never will. <laughs> uh, well, we we know whose body it is. It's Bethany Young's. So that was a really quick episode, and I know like we didn't do the challenges, like follow Mona, but we are playing by our own rules. And yes, that means spending a little money. But we will spend money eventually, unfortunately. Um, I, I, they, you know, they've got to make their money somewhere. And they're obviously not making it with adverts. Because there are no adverts. Which is a great thing. Because adverts suck. Next time, all of Rosewood is reeling after a gruesome murder. You and Arya make a plan to investigate. And an after-hours visitor steams up your bedroom windows. Well, gee, I wonder who that could be. I wish it was Maya. Like, Lydia and Maya, they, they make sense. Lydia and Emily, no, that doesn't make sense. Maya and Emily, no, that doesn't make sense. Lydia and her dad, 
that makes sense. 